Moving from one place to another without purpose, without plan, is a characteristic of Satan. The professional visitor behaves like Satan. Moving to and fro. If you ask them, where are you from? I am from Hope International Church. Where are you going to? I am going to Volcanic Eruptions Ministries. Moving to and fro. You see him once. You see her once. And you will never see her or see him ever again. Sometimes I even wonder these people who have this kind of behavior, if they can ever settle in marriage. And sometimes I wonder if they can settle on a job, if you give them a job, if they can settle there. Because when you have that kind of disposition of moving and moving and moving, you can never settle in anything. You will never settle in marriage. Because you will enter marriage and sample that lady when you feel like you are done. You look for something new. Even when you give them a job, they will do it. When they feel like they're done with it, they start becoming lazy. They start coming late. Because they are looking for an opportunity for you to fire them. Because they are tired. They are trying to look for something new. Such people, I wonder if they can really settle in something. If, if you have that kind of disposition, you need to work on it. Otherwise, you will never experience stability in many areas in your life. Number six is the prodigal member. The prodigal member leaves his spiritual father, but after a while realizes he made a huge mistake and decides to come back. He moves from church to church to try and find a father he has left. Then everywhere he goes, he doesn't find one. Then he realizes, oh, I have made a mistake. And then he decides to do what? To come back. Now, some, because of pride, they can't come back. But they know they are suffering. They know life is difficult. They know things are not working as they should. Only the humble swallow their pride. And they say, Daddy, I'm sorry. I want to come back. There are three things about the prodigal son that relates to the prodigal member. Number one, the prodigal son was deluded to think that he was mature. He thought he had matured. He thought now he can actually stand on his own, but his behavior reveals otherwise because he didn't have a vision. He didn't have a plan for investment. He didn't even have a strategy for multiplying his inheritance. People who live are deluded to think they can also build and have what their father has built and has. In fact, some of them even start churches while they are still in their spiritual diapers. Because they think, I am now mature. A child will come and tell the father, I want to get married. And the father will say, no. Because when the father looks at you, he knows you will not survive in that. Your father will look at you and say, why don't you wait for a year? Because he can, he can see that there are certain things that you have not developed inside of you. Because your father knows what marriage is. It's not what you think. You, you think marriage is like soap opera. You're just thinking your husband will be holding your hands. You're thinking when you have troubles, your husband will be coming to the bedroom with a guitar. And singing to you until you begin to melt. He will look at you and say, no, you're not ready. You're not ready. And sometimes your spiritual father will look at you and say, mm -mm, you are not ready. Because there is a lot that is involved in fatherhood. A father provides. A father is a pioneer. A father conquers new territories. If you don't have it in you, you will not survive. And a lot of people live prematurely. They live before their time. They live before they are ready 
to go out there and do what God has called them to do. They feel they are mature, but they are actually not mature. You see, when you're young, you argue with your father. Argue with your mother. You argue a lot. Mom does not understand me. Mom is old-fashioned. Dad is old-fashioned. He's not even on Facebook. He's not even on Instagram. He's not even on Twitter. He's not even where? TikTok. Dad, you need to join TikTok so you may understand me. But as you begin to grow older, you realize, hey, you're beginning to agree with everything that your father used to tell you.